I love this time of year. It reminds me of my days on the force, spending nights in the car, eating food truck foods, man those were the days. But I love retirement. I can spend my days watching the birds, getting into new hobbies such as train model making and turtle collecting. It's not exciting work, but it's honest. And at this point in my life, that's all you truly want. An honest hobby that... Huh. Huh. Lost my train of thought. Just when I thought I was out, they dragged me back in. There wasn't a case I couldn't solve. Break-ins, robberies, heck, I could even solve which birds decided to defecate on my cars in the morning. Nothing could get past me. I was the best! But that all changed when SB came into my life. They came in like a tornado with no regard to what they hit and the damage they do. Twisting the walls and the world around you as they continue to go unchecked and unbeaten. And just like the seasons, they come and go as they please, answering to no higher authority than their own. They were the only ones I could never get to. A couple close calls and a few minutes too late, but never the end result. And now they've decided to come back after all these years. That darn suck bandit. I'm finally gonna get you once and for- Oh, come on. I was on a roll with that one. Hello? Yes, this is he. Oh, great, yes. Mm-hmm. Today? 2.30. Wonderful. And this is accurate. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. I'm finally gonna get you. I'm finally gonna get you, sock bandit. After so many years of hiding in the shadows, why now? Why come out of the dark like a bat suddenly spooked? Did they get bored? Did they get lonely? Is that what this is? A game to them and I'm just another player. Like the thimble on the game of Monopoly. And they're the banker just watching me go around and around. All while they avoid the go to jail spot continuously. Well to that. I say no more. No more of playing this game of cat and mouse. This time, I'm the architect. And I'm finally gonna get the cheese and put that pesky cat away once and for all. I will see the sun shine on me once again after so many years of living in the dark. And I... Oh, come on. Please start, please start, please start, please start. It's always a good day for a walk. Get to stretch the legs.
Hi, um, it's a beautiful day for peanut butter and waffles, isn't it? What are you doing? What is that? That's the code phrase, to make sure we're talking to allies. It's a nice day for peanut butter and waffles, isn't it? Dang, man. No, nobody says that anymore. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I heard you needed some help getting out of the country. Um, that's all right. Uh, I just needed your social and whoa, drivers. Whoa, whoa, wait. What are you talking about? I don't need to get out of the country. Aren't aren't you Anthony? You just stole some top secret stuff from an embassy. Um, no. I'm P.I. Oliver Q. Oh, oh, th there's the confusion. I have my times mixed up. Man, 2.30 already? Time flies when you meet so many different people in one day, am I right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice to meet you, Oliver. I'm Serena Birch, your new contact. Nice to meet you. Um, listen, I need information on a certain somebody, um, the Sock Bandit? Uh, oh, oh, you're right, yeah, yeah, that. So, we did some digging, and we found that they're probably going to be coming in by train sometime. So, uh, we don't know what they look like, or if they're a crew. But uh, we do know their signature look. Um, they wear horrible, fake, sore-bought mustaches. Great. Thank you so much. Um, and if I need your help again? Um, oh, don't worry about that. Um, we'll contact you. Oh. Oh. But how will you know I need your help? Um, uh, well, we'll just, uh, know and call. Oh. Okay. Wait, where did she just... Huh. I'm getting too old for this job. Must go to the train depot. Well, here I am, like a gazelle out in the wilderness, waiting for the lion's pride to attack and take me out. But this time, I know what they look like. They may have the face of a lion, but in truth, they wear mustaches. I am not the gazelle this time, but instead I am the lion, and they are the gazelle awaiting my trap. This time, there is no way to escape what's to come, and the justice that will be. What's this? S. B. Sock bandit, of course. But there's more. SB. Why does that sound so familiar? Hello, Oliver. By now I'm sure you're wondering what this means. Wait, you can't interrupt my voiceover. I knew you would discover the number that would lead to your new contact. Serena Birch, was it? Or should I say Serena Birch was I? Yes, I was your new mysterious contact that led you to the train. I pulled the strings that set everything in motion. Anyways. The point is, I guess I miss the game. I miss the chase. I missed you. The thrill of always watching my back, always staying on my toes. Oh man, those were the days. And after this, I had the same feeling again. Well, after tonight. I have a feeling we'll both be feeling that rush again soon. I was so close. So close to catching them. Maybe too close. Maybe that's what cost me the case. As soon as I opened that envelope, that's when the storm broke loose and was all I could do to hang on to my life preserve. And- Son of a bread basket. One. One, that's all I want to get through. One voiceover. Hello. No. No, you got the wrong number. All right. 
It burns like the fires in the forest that keep burning and never stop. And even as the burden goes away, ah, I go back to finish. It hurts more now. Good. It means I can still feel. Now, 